drink driving is a massive problem in Thailand. Uh, you'll notice on an evening when people are going to the clubs, uh, going to the bars, you'll notice that they always arrive on a scooter, yeah, or a big bike, mostly scooters, guys. And they'll go and party, they'll get drunk, and then they'll jump on that scooter to drive back home. Now, pre-COVID times, police had uh, checkpoints all over the place at night time uh, to catch people drink driving, to try to stop them from doing it. And they charge anywhere from like 20,000 baht if they catch you um, drunk on a motorbike, they'll give you a breathalyzer test. And if you get caught in order to get out of the problem, not have to go in jail, you'd have to pay around about 20,000 baht, which is normally the going rate. Um, so ties are, are very, very careful. But now due to COVID times, I don't see any uh, police checkpoints anymore. I don't see any police on the roads anymore at all whatsoever. So now it's even more crazy and more dangerous where drink driving will go on in the day and at night time and the speeding. So please be very aware. And the best way to look at it, guys, is that when you're driving in Thailand, the way I look at it is that I just imagine that everybody's drunk, nobody has a license, nobody can drive, and I'm just super, super careful. And due to me thinking this way, um, I don't, I've never been in a, a really bad accident um, I've had problems, but I've never had a bad accident in Thailand because I've always tried to uh, be careful and not trust anybody when they drive, guys. So uh, please be careful, please be safe, because right now in Thailand in 2022, it's more crazy than it's ever been.